that would be a really good time to uh, to go about reforming that. So I just realized that we didn't turn the sound on on the webinar. The Facebook Live people have been hearing all along. However, we now have the sound turned on for the webinar. I apologize for that. Thank you for putting that in the comments section, Susan. And we'll continue. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, you know, everybody wants to get a better job. Obviously, everybody wants to increase their business standings. Uh, so, you know, LinkedIn, I, I think, is one of the most powerful ways to really connect to people because it has things that are um, are really uh, they're, they're they're really innovative. And and recently, after the Microsoft acquisition, there's been some new innovations that have really increased the ability to use it as a tool rather than just yeah. kind of a Facebook for business. It's a really powerful tool. Including an entirely new user interface. They've totally revamped the user interface over the last two months, I believe. So we're gonna get into that in just a short minute here when we do the, the screen sharing and we'll actually show you all the new features. And we'll talk a little bit about the difference between using LinkedIn as one, a business owner or as a salesperson that's mm -hmm. trying to network online versus a job applicant that wants to find the job of their dreams on LinkedIn. So we'll, we'll kind of go over the two different right. ways of doing that. And we'll talk about how to kind of optimize so that you're popping up in the search rankings for uh, whether you're a job seeker or a business owner, you're gonna to wanna to still pop up in those search rankings. So yeah. let's get into that. Yeah, so um, uh, <clears throat> just, uh, just so you know, if you are uh, just joining us uh, we do have audio on the webinar now. Click on the link <laughs> yeah. above and you can like, you know, interact with us there. But one of the things we want to invite everybody to is we are doing a huge course on LinkedIn. And uh, this is uh, going to be called the LinkedIn Mastery Course. So if you go to the LinkedInMasteryCourse.com, you can register for this, uh, for this uh, training. Webinar, training and we will train you how to master LinkedIn. But in the but in the short run, what we're gonna do now is if you get on the uh, webinar, hit the link if you're on Facebook, go on the webinar and right now- Pop in the chat. Pop in the chat because you won't be able to see what's going on. We're just gonna be talking. Otherwise, if you're just watching this on Facebook Live <coughs> and we're gonna show you how to rock your LinkedIn profile. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you over So go ahead to, and click on the screencast um, up there. Okay, first. which one, this one? That one. Okay, very good. Now, uh, application window. Okay, I'm just learning. This is okay, there we go. Okay, sure. Um, okay, sure. so everybody, easier now. Come uh, let me uh, let me fix that there for you. But we're going to get into the uh, screen share here in just a second. I know that the screen is not displaying properly. Is this thing there? We go. Let's move that and. There it is. It's over. It's weird. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. here we go. Go ahead and talk. Okay. And we're getting All right. The so, there it is. okay, technical difficulties. Okay. So, <laughs> welcome to LinkedIn 2.0. As you can see, I have 3,735 connections. Yeah, kind of a big deal. I, that's a, I'm a big deal. Um, mostly what I do, just so you know, is I, I, I don't wait till people connect with me. I try to connect with as many people as possible, which is a, a strategy that you really want to have. Unlike Facebook, where you want to probably be a little more discerning about who you connect with. With LinkedIn, it's kind of the exact opposite. In fact, the uh, the big joke uh, that I had with my, uh, I was I was joking with my uh, with my mother yes. about this. Um, and uh, I connected, I tried to, I sent her an invitation to connect and she wrote back <clears> to me and said, um, you know, we don't do business together, so there's no there's no reason for us to connect on LinkedIn. And I thought that was hysterical because, <laughs> uh, you know, I had a breakdown. Like, you know, actually, you want to connect to as many people as possible. So this is the new LinkedIn layout. Um, you know, obviously, if I hit home, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a timeline much like uh, Facebook. Well, why don't you go into why you want to connect with everybody on LinkedIn real quick? Yeah. and kind of go into details on that. Absolutely. You, you hinted at that right now. Yeah. So the, the reason why is because, you know, in the same way that there's six degrees of separation from you and everybody on earth, it, the more people that you connect with on, uh, on LinkedIn, the more chances you are to increase those networks. So if you connect to somebody, say at YouTube, so I'm going to go to my network, you know, and, and to add to that real quick, if you want to connect with somebody that you don't know, you can't do it unless you have a paid membership to LinkedIn. However, if you're connected to somebody that that person already knows, then you are then they are considered in your second degree network and you can connect with them without having the paid membership. So there's a there's a big advantage 
to accepting every invitation that you get, even if you don't know the person. I mean, this is different on LinkedIn than it is on like Facebook because it's not really like a personal profile. This is your business profile. So you want to build your network. You want to connect with as many people as possible and you want to build that so that you can then find like these executives or these uh, decision makers. You can connect with them directly and they'll be within your second or third degree networks and you'll be able to do that without having to pay. That's right. That's right. So so in in the, th the close to 4,000 people I know, I just put in Google as a search and I want to look up uh, my connection. So I c select first because they've got really great sorting of Abilities within this. And if you see, these are all the people that I've connected to at Google. And what's really great is if there is somebody at Google that I want to connect with, but I don't know them personally, I now have the ability to connect with them as a, if they know somebody who knows somebody I know. So if I'm connected to these people, like these people right here are the second tier <clears throat> connections that it will give me. So I can connect to these people without an introduction. And I wanted to add, easily. if you'll see on the very top there, you'll see Rodney Pike. And I'm sorry, we don't have, you know, we don't know this guy, but um, you'll see the word lion in his profile in brackets. You see that there on the second line. So lion means LinkedIn open network. And these are people that are doing exactly what we're talking about, where they're, that means they're gonna accept a connection from anyone because they're an open network and they wanna build their network so they can reach as many people as possible. So when you see the, the term lion in brackets, that's LinkedIn open network. And that, those are people that you can connect with like pretty much automatically, they'll accept anybody's friend request or connection request in LinkedIn. So that's what that means. And if you do a search for lion, you can find people, other people like that and you can build your network very, very quickly doing that exact Strategy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so you're, just remember you're displaying. Yeah, that. just yeah. checking to see if uh, we have any questions. So, uh, if you have any questions, you join the webinar and you can uh, ask a question there. And we'll periodically be hopping on there to check those questions. Right now, we're kind of just doing a demo, and we'll we'll be checking back. So, I want to show you uh, something right here, and this is this is kind of the new LinkedIn layout. If you haven't seen it, and so there's an, a couple of things I just want to draw attention to. Number one is that. Uh, if you notice right here, I have a little symbol right here, and I have one here as well. Uh, if you go to LinkedInMasteryCourse.com and you register for that, when we do that event, we're going to give you a whole sheet that's going to uh, have these symbols that you can copy and paste. It, there's nothing really that exciting about it, aside from the fact that it makes your profile stand out a little bit more. And then this right here is your background image, obviously. And your background image can be used as real estate to put text in here. Because so you can put things about, uh, you know, ask me about my cat or, <laughs> you know, something along those lines. So, um, you know, my, my picture right now is kind of matching my background image. So it, it helps to tell a story. And one of the things that you want to keep in mind is that this is your online resume. This represents who you are. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the picture that you represent here and your background image tell your story of yeah. what what you want to project it's, to the world. It's not just your online resume anymore. I mean, this is your resume now. I mean, most of these um, uh, headhunters that are hiring new people are looking exclusively on LinkedIn. They're not even looking at these other databases anymore. This is like where they're finding everyone. So this is actually becoming your resume. It's not just a digital resume anymore. This is like what, this is what, how they're finding yeah. you. Yeah. In fact, it's I think crazy. the latest stat I read was that 98% uh, <clears throat> of all headhunters look for people uh, on LinkedIn and use it as a tool. And I've actually been approached by people for jobs just because of what's been put in my LinkedIn profile. So let's, so, let's pause for a second and just yeah. check and see if there's any questions here. And we'll, we'll come back to the screen share in just a second. Um, let me come back to over here. And okay, nothing in the Facebook Live. And let me just hop on. Here. Okay, so no questions. So up here. Okay. Just to be clear, when I get those random connections. So, okay, we have uh, Mark. Mark Freed. Mark Freed. Oh, hello, Mark. So just to be clear, when I get those random connection requests from people, let me. When I get those random connection requests from people I've never heard of and haven't done business with and am not even in the same field, it's still recommended to connect. Yes. That's one of the most back and forth confusing things on the site. Yeah. I agree it can be. I would still recommend on LinkedIn to connect with them. Yeah. And the reason being is that you're 
network reach is based on your connections. So it's not about like necessarily connecting with them. It's about adding their network to your reach. So the, the broader your reach, the more you can connect with people you want to connect with. And I understand that a lot of people are kind of spamming with the uh, the messenger and you might be getting that every now from time to time. People might be direct messaging you on LinkedIn. Um, I, I would encourage you to just you know, look through it, connect with the people that you're interested in connecting with, ignore the people you're not interested in, but let, let them be connected to you because of the advantages of that right. reach. So, so for instance, Mark, if you have somebody who is a, um, uh, a person that's not in your industry, but you connect to them, they may know somebody who works in an industry that you want to work in. So all of a sudden you can connect to their connections. And uh, so it's kind of like connection hopping, but uh, the more you spread that connections again, you know, with close to 4,000 connections that I have, and you can have up to 30,000 connections, the more your connections, the bigger your reach. And what's nice about that is as you connect to those people, if you start blogging and posting on a regular basis, then all of those connections can start to see your, your content. And a lot of people are looking uh, through their, their, uh, their LinkedIn feed at the articles that people are posting. So it's becoming more of like a, uh, a way to interconnect with like new mm -hmm. information. So if you have a piece of information that is relevant to your industry, you start posting it, you become the resident expert. If you're a blogger, if you're, you know, if you're already creating content and you want to share your expertise, then yeah, LinkedIn is great also as a posting mechanism. So you can, if you have blog posts, you want to promote your blog, post your blog post in your LinkedIn feed because people that want the information will be able to find it in there. And that's, it's a great way of, you know, building your subscribers for a blog. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to break down the fundamental things that you need to know to really, uh, okay, yeah, uh, to really uh, develop a great LinkedIn profile because uh, if your LinkedIn profile, uh, you know, and it, it, Mark, I would love you, but um, what I want to do is I want to go over um, uh, LinkedIn, the, the kind of the layout of uh, and the the methodology of of the LinkedIn profile, so you get an idea of what you should be doing to have a really primo LinkedIn profile. Your first thing is going to be obviously your name, right? And what some people are doing, and if you notice right up here here in this URL, uh, it's linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash Andro Sturgeon. And what some people are doing is they're actually putting what they do in their name. So for instance, if I wanted to get more uh, ranked higher for search engine uh, optimization, SEO, or search engine marketing, SEM, I would put Andro Sturgeon dash SEM or SEO. And a lot of people are doing that because that also changes your uh, LinkedIn URL which helps with your overall search engine optimization. So people will find you easier if they type in SEO or SEM. So from a, from a search engine ranking perspective, that will help your ranking. It'll boost your ranking a bit. However, the only downside to that is that if somebody is going to just type in your URL and find you on, on LinkedIn, it becomes a little more confusing, confusing when they have to type in Andre Sturgeon dash SEO or something like that. So there is, there is a small downside to that, but the upside is that if you want to get found in the rankings even higher, you definitely want to uh, get that keyword in there as many times as possible. And that's a great place to put it is in the, uh, in the URL up there at the top. So what's interesting then is that the next, uh, you know, besides your name, putting your whatever you do there, which is, I'm not, I don't really want to do that because I, I don't want it to say Andre Sturgeon SEO. I think personally, I think it's a little cheesy. That's just my own two cents. But, uh, but this area right here is going to be very, very valuable to you because this is how you show up in all the recommendations of people to connect to, of how people see you. It's this little section <coughs> right here. And if you notice, um, in fact, I'm going to um, make zoom this in so we can see this a little bit better. Um, so if you notice right here, uh, I've got uh, SEO, SEM Marketing Jedi, uh, Marketing Campaign Management Specialist, Sales Funnel Expert, and Futurist of Star Child Interactive, which is um, the company that we work for. And then right here, if you notice also, there is a, um, a little section right here that uh, says, you know, contact me to ask me anything. So that's the first thing people are gonna see. A lot of people are not gonna hit see more, which is gonna be the rest of 
my profile. So that means that whatever you put into this section right here mm -hmm. is going to be very, very important. Yeah, that, that, so that's your, that's your summary. So what he has highlighted there is called your profile summary. So those first, uh, you know, I don't have that memorized, uh, first 200 characters or so are valuable, valuable real estate. And you're gonna wanna take advantage of those first 200 characters because that'll display every time somebody looks at your profile on a desktop. Now on a mobile, you also get to have some of that. However, the amount of characters that display on a mobile is even a little bit less. I don't have those numbers in front of me right now. Um, I, we can get that for you if anyone wants to know the very specifics. Uh, just shoot us a, a, in the chat there and we'll, uh, or shoot your email in the chat. We can email to you after the presentation. Um, or you could just count on, on these people's profiles exactly how many characters it is. But it, it, it is incredibly valuable real estate to take advantage yeah. of every little bit of uh, opportunity you get because you're going to have these people's attention for a very limited amount of time. And you want to you want to take advantage of that attention while it's uh, while it's in play. Now, the question uh, has come up. How do I know what to put in here? Right. Like what is going to be the thing that's going to get the most attention? And again, it's, you know, for basic search engine optimization techniques, you're going to want to know like what uh, uh, what's kind of out there. So the, the, the thing that I would recommend is going to this website, which is Glassdoor. Whoops, how about if I spell it right? Duos. Yeah. For those of you who know me, I know you know that I'm a terrible <laughs> speller. Um, so Glassdoor.com gives you a list of kind of, you know, all the jobs and job descriptions. So if I if I go out there and I, I put in like uh, SEO, right? Let me make sure um, that it's switched for Windows there real okay. quick here. It should. So I just want to double check. Okay. We're over here, keep talking. Okay, so so uh, basically what Glassdoor does is it gives you an overview of all the jobs that are out there right now. So if I put in <clears throat> SEO, some of these job descriptions are written very, very well, right? And um, I've done some research. You could look up like what are the most hireable jobs right now. And you will, if you look at these postings, you'll start to see that there's uh, different uh, keywords that are similar across the board. So what I recommend you do is look at like some of the jobs that you want or some of the things that you wanna do with your uh, company if you have a business and add those keywords and descriptions directly in here because those are the things that people are looking for and, the most. And what's happening now is that these headhunters, these hiring managers have uh, machine learning technologies that are crawling through all the LinkedIn database profiles and they're looking for those specific keywords. So even if you are a qualified person for the job and you don't have your profile ranked in a proper manner that's gonna have those, those keywords in there, they might not be able to find you and they might not be able to hire you. And if um, there's also people that are using this for business or referral partners. So if you don't have the right keywords for someone that's looking for a referral partner in your industry, they won't be able to find you either. So it's really, really important that your profile is optimized to the point where when somebody's looking for you, they can find you and that you're not missing out on business opportunities to make money. Exactly, exactly. So uh, that's why, you know, whatever you put here has got to definitely uh, put the keywords uh, that are relevant. In fact, what's interesting is uh, up until recently, this said video marketing Jedi. I just put Jedi because it, you know, it's kind of pompous. People know what whatever. it means. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think it's kind of fun. Uh, I, I try not to use overused words like, uh, you know, uh, like guru or ninja. Uh, but, uh, you know, so I use Jedi, right? <laughs> Which is uh, not overused at all. No, right? not at all. Nobody's ever used Jedi. Um, but, but it said video marketing <laughs> Jedi. But what I found was uh, because I do SEO and SEM work, uh, that's actually needed more right now than video marketing. So that's why I put that as the lead, right? And then, of course, I, I invite people to call me and ask me anything. So that's why I put and, that And there. speaking of that, it, and that's another thing that some people don't do that I recommend to everybody is have your contact information in your profile. I mean, you are a business owner. You do networking, right? You're going to these events. You're passing out your business card. You're not afraid to give your phone number at, at business events. But when it comes to, to LinkedIn, sometimes people don't give their phone number. They don't give their email address. They don't give a way of, a way of contacting. So, I mean, however that looks, you can create what I've created, a Google Voice number. So it's a separate number than my personal number, but it forwards to my cell phone so that when somebody calls uh, my business number, it just goes to my Google Voice. It'll have a separate uh, voicemail greeting. So instead of me saying, hey, it's Justin, it'll say, hey, you've reached my company. Um, and... 
essentially that's just a way of separating it and it's a it, and it's just valuable to give people a path to contact you i mean they can message you on linkedin but it's nice that they can call you as well yeah so. exactly exactly so if you do see see more then you know what it'll show up here is it, it has your little you know what you do i like to bullet point things just because it makes things easier to read and then of course if you have any media you can add it here so here's like a little thing on Star Child Interactive. Here's my web series that I was doing, New Age Girls. If you haven't seen that, go see it. It's great. Here's my TED Talk. I did a TED Talk recently. So you should probably I, move that to the first slot here. I, I should, <laughs> but it won't let me move. I have to like yeah, erase right. things yeah, and put it up to first. You have to erase it and redo right. it. Yeah. But it, you know, most people I don't think are going to come down this far. But just in case, it's good to have extra media. It, it's, it's still recommended to have the rich media there because if they do happen to make it that far, if they do, you, you know, it's just so much more interesting to have that or to have like a portfolio of prior work to have. Uh, I mean, Andres' TEDx talk there is awesome. Thanks, now sir. all of a sudden you look like way smarter than you really are. It's true. It's so, true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, so you, let's you, hop back in the, in the chat here. I want to see if there's any more questions right now. Yeah. But go ahead and keep talking about that. So, uh, you know, basically, and if you look here, it says, 700 people have reviewed my profile, which looks pretty darn high. Like a lot of people are just checking me out. The 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 reality of the situation is actually looking at my profile because they're searching me out. It's because on a regular basis, I'm going in there and I'm trying to connect to as many people as possible. And as I do that, uh, then the uh, are you still live on your Facebook. I believe so. Um, as we're, um, Keep that's in another window. It's right there. Keep, there going. Go. Keep going. Okay. So, uh, as we're, uh, uh, as people look to see who is, uh, reaching out to them to connect to them, they're always checking my profile. But what's interesting about that is the more people check out my profile, the more relevant I become to the algorithm of LinkedIn, right? So in that sense, you want to continue to, uh, connect to as many people as possible. Let's go back to um, the uh, profile, this. okay? Here. And I will show you the next portion <clears throat> of LinkedIn that you fail to um, uh, fail to do when they when they uh, do their LinkedIn profile. <clears throat> so right here, you know, in this section, whenever you do your um, uh, your little detail. And I actually, in, in actuality, I need to rewrite this as well. But if you notice right here, I've got um, specialty sales, marketing, social media, mobile optimization, mobile development, project management, and all of these keywords I put down here simply as a way to help my own search engine optimization within LinkedIn. Because mm -hmm. the more that something is mentioned within your profile, the more you're going to rank for it. So um, I did want to talk a little bit about like symbols in a profile. So hop yeah. on mine real quick because I, I know that you're using a couple there, but I just want to show you like kind of what it can look like when you're actually using. Um, when you do it correctly. <laughs> when you do it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> So we yeah, do it right. Let's not yeah. use your example, yeah. Andros. Let's, no, let's, I mean from a from a summary perspective, though, go ahead and uh, open up the the summary there, and you can see I I, you know, I, <clears throat> I have it kind of broken down with uh, with with symbols, and these are you can't use bold you can't use bold fonts you can't use italics in a um, uh, on your LinkedIn summary, but you can use symbols, and we have an entire symbols page. That if anyone's interested, message us in the chat. Put your email address in there. We can we can email you our, our symbols uh, page that we created. And if you kind of go go scroll through there, though, I've kind of separated my services. I've kind of I've used these symbols to just kind of make it more digestible. Um, it, it just kind of like, separates the different services and makes it it just kind of makes it easier to to see everything. And you are limited to two thousand characters in your summary. And I've used just about every single character in mine. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's like using these symbols can be a way of kind of making your profile pop a bit. And it, it also just kind of makes it, uh, again, easier to read. And then people um, tend to be a little bit more, you know, likely to either contact you or just have a, a quicker understanding of exactly mm -hmm. everything that you offer. And, and if you notice right here, he did something really smart, which was he was like, book a book a call here. So someone can actually schedule a call directly from his LinkedIn profile. And, uh, you know, again, book a complimentary strategy session here. So if you if somebody goes to his uh, profile, 
And this is what they're going to see, right? I'm laughing because I'm 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 kind of con- I'm thinking right now. I just switched my schedule uh, software, so I'm wondering if I updated that link there. Because <laughs> that might be my old schedule software link right there. You better check that out. I know. That, I, uh, but thank you for uh, for pointing this out because I need to to hop on there. Actually, right. try it right now, real quick, and let's just okay. Let's just so, see if I updated it. Because right. I might have. I can't remember off the top of my head. All right. So right here, we can book a, a strategy session. It'll pop this right directly. Let's up. see. Oh, I did good. It is good. Okay. Okay. We're good. Great. So if you want to, if you want to do a call with uh, Justin and I, yeah. go to his LinkedIn profile, connect with him, and you can just click that and connect with them automatically. But do you understand? You know, I, I think this illustrates a great point where just by doing this, you you are in this simple thing, you are already increasing the chances of you getting business by that one little thing. And people, I have been offered jobs simply by people finding me on LinkedIn. Um, same yeah. sort of way. So um, the other thing is, is that, you know, you want to continuously share stuff. If you notice, you know, here's my TEDx talk I just did. Uh, watch it. It'll tell you how to be a superhero. Um, and also, you know, I'm posting a lot. So there's a difference between doing uh, articles and posts. Posts are just like brief things that you throw up there. Uh, articles are like more like blogs. But uh, when you blog, it feeds your information into something called LinkedIn po- po- uh, Pulse. Pulse. And Pulse is like a digital magazine for the people that you're connected to on, on LinkedIn. So if people that you're connected to are uh, posting things, you'll see that in LinkedIn Post, which is actually this little thing right here and it doesn't just have to be articles that you find you kind of what, what he's doing is he's kind of curating content so he's taking other people's content he's posting it on his profile and he's adding value for people that are already interested in the things that he's teaching and doing right um i also will go in there and like we were just on the radio the last two weeks doing a couple of radio shows so I, we, we did some facebook live videos i've gone ahead and converted those into mp4 files and put them on on my linkedin uh Pulse account as well. So that way, uh, I also like to offer, you know, videos of us and like keep people updated on what we're doing currently, as well as curating content because uh, just content curation alone can also help your search ranking go up too. So there's, there's exactly. value in everything. Exactly. Right? Facebook Live is something I've been really getting into lately. And, and if you're a business owner or even if you're not, uh, definitely start doing some Facebook Live. The more you put yourself yeah. out there, the more people remember. I, I've been reading, are. they haven't done this yet, but I've been reading that with some of the top LinkedIn influencers, and by top, I mean like those are the people that are approaching 30,000 connections, so we're not quite there yet. We're on our way. Um, they're already rolling out a few tests of their own video software. I don't think it's live software, but they're doing uh, they're doing it so you can actually host your, your videos through LinkedIn. So that might that's mm-hmm. something that's going to be coming here. You're going to be seeing more video integration with LinkedIn in the right. near future. And especially, again, since Microsoft now owns the company, they can use some of their tools and, and integrate it in right there. Um, and they have that partnership with Adobe currently, too. So that might that might also come into play. Right. And, there, and there's some other tricks. I mean, you can use this as a very powerful um, network connector. I mean, one thing I'm just going to, as a side note, I'm going to show you a, uh, a quick little tip. Uh, that you know, if I if I go to uh, Justin right here, then what I can do, and this is something that's built into uh, LinkedIn already, is that um, I can actually use this as a uh, a CRM. I can use it as a way to keep track of uh, uh, Justin's uh, like what I'm what like ways that I can connect with Justin and. Yeah, um, you can tap into my Alexa. I can tap into yeah, <laughs> exactly hack his uh, hack his stuff. Um, but uh, I can, you know, here's a here's a recommendation <laughs> that I gave him. And you know, also ask for recommendations from your friends because uh, it's a great way to kind of show that you're. Uh, Why don't you go to the skills section there? Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, go so, back down to the bottom there. Okay, uh, or you can go on your. Profile. Yeah, let me go on my profile because I I, I I paid I've paid a lot of attention to that. So the next section down here, and this is something that you know, here's your experience. Again, this is all keyworded. So whatever your experience is, this is this is kind of important. If you take away anything up from this from this topic, take away this is that your experience with your jobs should also contain the keywords for jobs that you want to have. So if you even if like right here campaign analysis, I need to change that because campaign analysis is not really a keyword that a lot of people use. If you go on Glassdoor, you'll find that it's more like 
um, you know, campaign, like different, like digital strategy, those types of things. So you want to make sure that um, and Google Trends is another good way of searching what's trending with keywords right. too. And so, so just to, as a quick note on that, if you go to Google Trends, right, what this will do is this will show you kind of the words that are trending over a period of time. So if I put in right here, if I put in uh, SEO as a subject in Google Trends, what we'll see here as a search term is how over time that particular keyword has become uh, more relevant. It's been pretty flat. It's been, yeah. With a but small right here, spike, yeah. a small spike in December of 2016. Interesting. Yeah, it, it is interesting. But you know, it's like, it goes up and down. Yeah. And but this, if you go to like a software, like some of these softwares that we, we like click funnels, like that one, if you go into that one real quick, you'll see that that thing is growing. So if you, if you know how to use these, like it's one word, you know how to use these third-party softwares like ClickFunnels or Infusionsoft, and you look at like what's trending with the softwares. Um, I've looked at this recently, and uh, yeah, you'll see it's, it is a massive kind of an exponential growth in people that are becoming aware of it, and uh, people that are interested in finding you know users of the software. So uh, something like that could be valuable to Absolutely. have on your profile if you know how to do it. And so ClickFunnels is- I do. Yeah, <laughs> really well, actually. And ClickFunnels is basically, it creates landing pages that allows you to get traffic to your website. And as you can see, obviously, this is a piece of software that's becoming more and more popular. But if you're looking for a job and you know this piece of software and yeah. you put it um, over here in your, uh, in your, in your profile or in your experience, then people will find you for it. So it's a, just a good technique to learn how to get people to find you and, and hopefully do business with you. And again, you can add rich media into your, um, into your, this section as well. Right, exactly. And so here's like a little <laughs> your, video your blog job I did. Summary. Yeah. And here's, I look tired there, don't I? A little bit, man. Yeah, yeah it, you need some caffeine. A maybe, some, maybe some coffee, maybe yeah. a shave, maybe <laughs> some uh, just for men on the beard. You got some like little white streaks there too. I know. And I'm aging <laughs> like a president. So, um, so anyway, uh, and 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 so just talking about you know finding you know the 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 way so that people on. yeah see we're gonna see if there's any we're there gonna any do questions. a quick check and see if there's any other questions that have popped up here. But I keep talking while I check this. Okay, so. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, okay. Yeah, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat box there. We want, I mean, we're doing this to answer your questions. It's nice to give you content the way we're doing it right now, but I would love to make this more of a Q&A format. Yeah. So uh, feel free to type your questions into the into the chat there, and we will answer them as they as they come in. And again, if if you uh, if you want to know more about this, we're going to be teaching a very uh, a huge uh, class on this. Uh, if you go to LinkedIn, LinkedIn Mastery Course.com, LinkedIn Mastery Course.com. In fact, I'll put the. Uh, if and if you have questions, you can type them in the Facebook Live too. We are periodically checking on there. We're more, you know, we're more partial to the webinar questions. But if you have questions, feel free to type them in that Facebook Live uh, box there, and we will get to them as they uh, as they come. Did I spell that right? LinkedIn Mastery. No, you did not. <laughs> not even close. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let me, let me yeah, you better do that. You just, like, don't trust me with keep, the sharp you objects. Just keep talking. So, um, <laughs> I, misspelled, I misspelled the whole course that we're going to be doing. So it's LinkedIn Mastery Course. We're still on this dot chair, com. So we're not, you know. uh, and if you uh, if you go there, then you can you can register for the the large. And you'll notice that it's built in ClickFunnels. Look at that. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's very. Can we get back? Uh, uh, yeah, you want to? Yeah, I'll get you back okay. up there. Yeah. But we're going to continue talking about the uh, your experience section, and right. then we'll get into the skills. So so right here, this is kind of funny. So for those of you who've known me for a while, you know that I worked at Comcast for six years. Uh, I was just basically a, a sales guy. I just like got on the phone and answered the phone and sold people cable, right? So, so for a while, this just said sales, right? Now, what's funny is I looked on Glassdoor and I looked at different ways that you can call a salesman a salesman, right? Sure. Strategic growth, uh, strategic account <laughs> growth manager. It's a thesaurus too for business, yeah. right? So Glassdoor is not just a you know it's the thesaurus of 
what's another way of saying sales, but it's the exact same thing. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but what are people searching for, really? Yeah, and, and I find that people do, uh, if they're looking for a salesperson, in the business world, uh, <clears throat> strategic growth account manager is, is something that people are looking for. It's a lot, yeah, it's just more attractive. Right, right? and so it, it sounds better, you know, and as, <laughs> as they say, resume is really French for bullshit. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> you gotta you gotta spin it a certain way. Again, this was a content marketing specialist. I wrote scripts for uh, for uh, videos for the internet, right? So instead of just saying script writer for the internet, I turned it into content marketing specialist. Now, one thing I wanted to add though, if you have a specific goal, so whether you're a business owner or a job seeker, again, if you have a specific goal of what you're looking for. Tailor your experience to fit a narrative that is congruent with that goal that you have. So if you're a business owner, you just want to generate more business um, for your SEO, make sure that your prior experience somehow ties in to your current job endeavor exactly. if you're a business owner. And if you're seeking a job, make sure that your prior experience ties into the job that you're seeking so that the narrative is congruent. So when somebody actually reads through the entire the entirety of your LinkedIn profile, it's telling a singular story with a common narrative that's always leading to your goal. That is a great point. And that, and, and that story has to be congruent with the background picture, the photo. In fact, if you don't have a photo on your LinkedIn profile, I will not connect with you. I <laughs> will 20, the, the numbers, LinkedIn put these numbers out themselves, but you're 21 times more likely to be connected to on LinkedIn with just a photo period, any photo at all. And then you're 14 times more likely to be connected to on top of that 21 if you have a professional photo. Right. And, you know, uh, my wife, Natalie, took this photo of me. It's a, a, I feel that it represents the story of like, I'm not super straight business. I'm a little more relaxed. I've got the balloons, which represents levity. Um, and so, you know, it, it, and the colors are matching. So it tells a story. Uh, overall. And then I wanted to make sure that this, you know, is front and center, my TEDx talk, because uh, it makes it, as, as Justin was saying, makes me look smarter. Brand equity, man. Brand uh, equity. If, you, if you've been on a TEDx stage, like your brand equity boosts instantly. It's just a, you know, when you get on certain stages, your, your expert status increases. And TEDx Absolutely. is a well-known brand. Um, the followers of it are raving fans. So anyone that knows TEDx now is going to see you in a different light than had you never done that. Exactly, exactly. So um, anyway, that's why I have it like up front and center. And then right here, um, you know, this is a job that I had for a while. I was just writing for a blog essentially back during the, the before the first dot bomb happened. Dot bomb. Um, <laughs> and uh, right here, November 99, that's when everything blew up and, you know, the whole internet crashed in on itself uh, at that point. Uh, but I was just a writer at that point. And so I, 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 now I'm a head writer and a coder because I did some HTML stuff. So if people are looking for a coder, um, I know a little bit of code, enough to be dangerous. But yeah. it's part of my overall. <laughs> Not uh, enough to program anything major, but to do HTML and that kind of code. Yeah, yes. for sure. Yeah, for sure. And then, of course, you know, I do some mentoring and consulting for a great business organization, SCORE. If anybody out there is wanting to run their own business or start their own business, go to SCORE. You can get free mentoring. Even if you're already a business owner and you just want some free mentoring on things, go to, go to your local SCORE office. It's a, uh, the acronym originally stood for the Service Corps of Retired Executives. I think they, they don't longer they no longer use that acronym, uh, but essentially it, it tells a story though because it's it's a bunch of retired executives, tip for the most part, that are volunteered their time um, and it's subsidized through the government, so it's all free and you can get uh, you can get free mentoring, you can get low cost uh, classes on specific items, and it's throughout the entire United States. So if you haven't heard of Score. Go to what is it, score.gov? I think uh, it's, no, I think it's store.org. Score. Okay. Yeah. Well, go do a Google search. A Google search for score. Uh, it's either score.gov or score.org, and um, you can find you can book appointments by phone. You can book appointments in person at your local office. Yeah. But it's free mentoring. It's free awesome. mentoring, and yeah. you go to their website. They have free webinars on business. Yeah. I mean. Uh, I, I wish more people knew about it because it's really, uh, I mean, how many times you get free like advice from elders who have been in business And forever? some of these people, I mean, like uh, the local chapter here, like one of the guys was uh, the former uh, CEO of Xerox. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking like a lot of these guys are, are right. legit, like serious former CEOs like of major companies that really know what they're talking about. These exactly. aren't just... Uh, 
a bunch of lightweights. And then there's this guy, Andre Sturgeon, that does it around here too. That's uh, pretty impressive himself. Oh, that guy's a hack. <laughs> no, but 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 I. What's funny is because these guys are older and they don't understand social media and search engine marketing. Uh, I part of my role there is I help businesses with that. So if ever they have a question, they refer me, and it's it's really nice because I love giving back. Um, and then right here, uh, Weave Women's Economic Ventures. If you're in the Ventura uh, area at all, or Santa Barbara, or Santa Barbara, check out Weave. If you're a woman, it's it's uh, uh, a female entrepreneur organization. I do guest instructing. They and, do take men too, but it, yeah. it's it's ninety five percent female, right? <laughs> yeah. So right here, this is the featured skills and endorsements, and a lot of people miss this section. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have everything in here that is going because again, this is all keyword optimized, right? So um, and whatever you put in the top sections here are the things that are going to show up that people will probably endorse you for. So if you notice, I had ninety nine people endorse me for marketing. 84 for advertising, 98. I mean, I'm good at all this stuff. But what was funny is I realized I didn't put search engine optimization as one of my skills. And so I missed that opportunity. So I only have three people who have recommended me because I, I haven't put that up there recently. But you're doing it the correct strategy because the correct strategy is if you've missed an opportunity like this, you need to move it into your top three because those are the ones that people are going to give endorsements for right. on your top three. So if you want to boost any of your skills with endorsements, make sure it's in the top three if that's one that you're lacking in and it's one that's really relevant to your business like it is for Andres here. You're going to want that um, up top there. Now, a lot of people have prior job experience and their skills are totally outdated. So they have skills from like their old jobs working in retail or something and now they're doing web marketing or or public speaking, but they have nothing reflecting like public speaking skills. They have nothing reflecting their new uh, their new career. Right. So, so, so keep it up to date too. Exactly. Yeah. So if there's anything that's irrelevant that people probably won't hire you for, then get rid of it. Like don't don't keep it on there. And like I, I had a few things on here that were just not even relevant to what I was doing. And so, uh, you know, I, I just ditched those. You're only allowed to have 50 different skills, but fill it up, fill it up. And with you it. can customize them. You yeah. can put them however you want to appear, but do some, I mean, ideally you're gonna do a little bit of research, see what's trending with the keywords, see what people are searching for right. and use those. Because if you notice right here, one of my skills is Jedi mind tricks. I made, I just made that up because, but it, again, it tells a story like here's the Jedi mind tricks. And um, I believe there's an intellectual uh, conflict there, intellectual property conflict. There's no intellectual <laughs> conflict here. They can't see you waving, waving your hand. I'm me. waving my hand in front of you. There is no intellectual conflict here. There is none. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but you get the point. So, the, you know, again, it's all keyword. Like You have to be keyword rich with what you're doing. Uh, you know, make sure that your, um, that your featured skills and endorsements uh, are you know up there? People will endorse you for skills. Uh, although I noticed recently that uh, uh, LinkedIn recently hasn't been recommending that you endorse people, so the endorsements may be harder to get. Well, you um, can always do the old-fashioned thing and, and ask. So direct right. message people that you. Act, I mean, the the people you really know. If you direct message them and you ask them for both uh, skill endorsements or recommendations. Odds are they're going to give them to you. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I gave you a recommendation up top there. Um, and then you, I'm sure you know a lot of these people below that also gave you recommendations. Yeah, so. all these people. I, and I, some of them I asked for, we do, did an exchange. Like, I really like their work. They like my work. And so we did an exchange of, like, recommendations. And the more recommendations, you know, it's what's called social proof. It, 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 it's like a testimonial for you. Um, and it always helps. I mean, uh, this guy, I told him to tell the world that I was a marketing genius and he did it, and uh, I still owe you. Still owe you, truly a web marketing genius. I still owe you ten bucks for that, right? A twenty. No, twenty. Was I think we 20? negotiated twenty. Yes. And, oh, okay. I'll, can I buy you a burrito? Um, the brilliant better Maya, be a, better be an expensive burrito. <laughs> the brilliant Maya Zuckerman uh, <laughs> gave uh, me a great recommendation, and then some other people I know uh, did as well. Um, so get recommendations yeah, from your friends yeah. uh, right here. Um, and then we'll get into uh, accomplishments and certifications here in just a, just a moment. Yeah, and but again, I'm going to hop on and just check for questions again yeah. real quick. Here. And again, if you go to uh, the uh, – if you go to – our um, LinkedIn Mastery Course. LinkedIn Mastery Course.com. We have a free uh, introductory offer. You can go and register for that event, which is on what day is that? Uh, that event is April the 6th. 
at 2 p.m., I believe. Okay. It's on the website. I forget the exact start time. I think it's 2 p.m. We'll be doing it live. Um, it's, we'll do April, it live. it's April 6th, though. I, I can tell you it's April 6th, which is a Thursday. I'm 90% sure here. Let me just double check the, uh, the date. April the 6th, a Thursday. Yeah. So Thursday, April 6th. Mark your calendars. Go Please to LinkedInMasteryCourse.com. Book your spot. It's going to fill up. We're excited about it. It's going to yeah, be a lot we're of fun. Get, and, and what we'll do is we're going to get into more advanced techniques with LinkedIn. Especially, like, we're really going to get into the profile, like, um, very, very specific techniques that we didn't really cover here, especially, like, the keyword searching and things like that. Sales navigators, so you can target, like, specific decision makers. I mean, uh, you once you take the LinkedIn Mastery course, you'll really be able to. And I think what I want to do real quick is yeah. I want to offer the same thing that we offered to our radio listeners. Oh, last okay. Week, which is? Which which was, oh. if, I'm going to give you a phone number. And if you text, and so this is kind of strange because we're not on the radio right now, but uh, this was an offer we made over the weekend when we were on we were on the uh, local Ventura radio. But if you, if you text the word radio to the number 805 805- Eight seven four five two one five. So again, you just text the word radio R A D I O to eight zero five eight seven four five two one five. It'll ask you for your email address and your first name, and then we'll send you the the LinkedIn symbols guide. Will automatically get sent to you. You'll get a link to the LinkedIn Mastery Course, uh, which is pretty relevant because uh, that's what we're talking about right now. And you're also going to get two free tickets to our live event, which is coming up in Burbank, right. California on April 1st and 2nd. So we're going to go ahead and extend this offer to you on the webinar because we like you so much. Yeah. And um, and so if you, if you do that, you're going to get access to all three of those gifts right now. So text the number 805-874-5215 with the word radio to get those gifts now. And that, at that, let's just let's talk about that live event real quick, so people yeah. know what it is. So, um, so the live event, this is really great. We, we've <laughs> we've got together with a couple of wizards that we know, and we're going to do this live event where we're going to go over uh, Facebook marketing, video marketing, you, funnels, fu- click funnels. You'll be able to bring your laptop to this event and walk away with a full Facebook advertising mechanism. And uh, we'll show you how to set it up. We'll uh, we're, we're going to do some really great talks on video marketing, how you can do some video marketing without any video knowledge whatsoever. Uh, Justin's going to talk about click funnels and automation. I think um, we'll yeah the, we may or may not have time to go into Infusionsoft a little bit too, but we definitely will talk about click funnels. We'll talk about landing pages in general and uh, alternatives, not just click funnels, but ways of building landing pages. And then we'll talk about email automation. How do you do autoresponders? How do you create these funnels that just kind of exist on their own um, so that theoretically you could be on the beach in Mexico raking in the money while you're getting your tan on? Yeah. Now, Who I, don't, I don't love to, to use that analogy because it does take work, and I encourage people to do the work. Yeah. But uh, I, I, that is that is the dream, though, right? That's everybody's That's dream. That's everybody's dream. And we, we, we want to show you how to do that. We'll show you at um, least how you can do it. You have to make it work for you. But we'll show you how to set up the system that would allow that to happen. Now, now here for accomplishments, this is kind of funny because accomplishments you can add, um, especially because Linda uh, is now LinkedIn Learning. So if you pay for a, uh, a membership for LinkedIn, which runs anywhere from $25 to $99, you get a, link, month. Uh, a month, you get lynda.com for free. And if you're not familiar with Linda, you can learn any skill whatsoever. Yeah, it's basically like, it's just an online curriculum of courses, uh, a lot of tech courses, but there's some that are uh, soft skills too. It's not just all um, all tech. But if you ever wanted to learn like WordPress or you wanted to you wanted to learn, um, I mean, several different types of software like Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, a lot of those programs are all available. There's even a LinkedIn course on lynda.com or and now they call it LinkedIn Learning if you get it through yeah. uh, LinkedIn here directly. Um, so you can, yeah, you can, there's a great. And I took LinkedIn for business and I put it, I, once you finish the course, they ask, do you want to put it on your LinkedIn profile? And so it kind of shows that you're continuously learning new skills, which is good for uh, employers, you know, they'll, they'll probably look and at And you this. can actually create your own certifications in LinkedIn. We're not going to go into that on this webinar, but during the LinkedIn Mastery course, we'll definitely talk about how you can create your own certification, how you can let your clients put that badge on their profile, and then how it's a win-win because they're getting added skills on their profile with a the certification. They're promoting your business 
by having a certification, just like Andres has there with Starchild Interactive. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to do that at the uh, LinkedIn Mastery Course uh, webinar. I am certified in the Starchild Academy, Starchild Interactive system of business. Which he put up there basically to show that it. That anyone it's can possible. do it. Anyone yeah. can do it, and we'll teach you how to do it at the LinkedIn Mastery <laughs> Course and at the live event too. We'll, we'll have a section we can show you at the live event. We're gonna, as a <laughs> joke, we're gonna we're gonna put together the ethics course. So if you if you want to be get your ethics badge, you have to go through the ethics course, which is just basically, are you ethical? Yes or no? And if we're you're gonna create this like huge long long form sales page, which had like. I don't know. It was like three pages worth of information, and then it's like, and then we were gonna have them go through the course, and it was gonna be, "Are you an ethical person?" Yeah. And if they say yes, they were gonna pass. If they said no, they were gonna say, "Are you sure?" And if they said, if they say <laughs> no, then we give them the ethics badge anyway because they're honest. It's a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. But the point is, is that you can, you can, if you have a business, you can, you can make a badge and then certify people. And this is what we do with our free time, people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then you know, there's these other things like if you have any publications. Uh, you know, I wrote a book called Getting Started with Paint.net. <laughs> and um, and one, one other thing, and then you get into this, like people you're following, um, groups that you're involved with. Uh, it's always a good idea to get involved with uh, different uh, groups because if you go into groups and, you know, I'm in the digital marketing group, you can start conversations and connect to other people who are also in this And you groups. can just offer value. So if you have something right. to teach, offer value and teach it or give away a free uh, PDF or give right. away something for free in there. And you can also build your, you know, your email list. You can build your co-connections uh, by going in there. Now, the one thing with LinkedIn groups is they're not as well, um, you don't get notified as easily when, when there's updates. Like on Facebook, you get like instant notifications if you set it up that way on Facebook. Mm -hmm. On LinkedIn, they don't quite do the same thing. So you kind of have to manually go in there every day if you want to be an active LinkedIn um, group participant. So there's a little more effort on your part. And let me go ahead and bring us back on. And you have to okay. click on, the, on that icon. To, uh, to kind of finish up the uh, the webinar here, I would love a few more questions. If you want to populate those in the Facebook Live or in the uh, in the webinar, I know you're still there. We see you. We see the people in the webinar. They're just not asking questions right now. <laughs> well, that's maybe we answered them all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, we, we we in the LinkedIn Mastery course that we're going to do, we are going to get into um, a uh, we're going to get into a lot more of uh, getting people involved with like how to use the sales navigator. And the sales navigator is a very powerful tool so you can target specific people, yeah. you can get clients. Uh, you know, right now, uh, my wife and I are thinking about uh, moving part-time to the Netherlands. And uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm connecting to companies in the Netherlands. So I'm able to, to target those decision makers and tell them, hey, I'm gonna be in town for this date. Can we set up a meeting? So, you know, if if uh, if you are currently looking for a job, trying to upgrade what you're doing, if you're an Uber driver right now, uh, I recommend that you start looking at creating your own business and partly is, is using LinkedIn because if you, especially if you're an Uber driver, you will be out of business in about four to five years when everything becomes but even if you even if you are an uber driver and you want to even for the short term when when uber is still around with drivers you can use this to help find you know your your valuable clients the ones that use you over and over again like mm -hmm. you can find people that are looking for drivers i mean put out you know make sure your profile is optimized so that when somebody searches uber you're popping up in the top results or they're searching yeah. uber ventura or uber camarillo or uber los angeles that you're popping up in the top results so by being optimized for search rankings, then you're going to get more business and you can find those goldmine clients that use you over and over and over again. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, please, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can, uh, you can private message me. I will answer any of your questions about this. And, and obviously I love to help people. And, uh, if you, uh, if not connect with me on LinkedIn, and, uh, and again, if you want to take advantage of our free gifts for the day, so we're giving out the LinkedIn symbols guide, which will give you all the symbols that you can paste in your profile to make it pop. We're giving you the link to the LinkedIn mastery course. So we're doing that free webinar on April 6th. You'll have the link to register for that. And lastly, you're going to get two free tickets to our live event, April 1st and 2nd in Burbank, which is actually, we are selling tickets right now. They're discounted to $2.97 a piece, but they're, I mean, if you go on igniteyourbizweekend.com, if you were to buy, if you were to go there, you'd be paying 
Uh, the discounted price of $297 a piece there. They're normally $497, but we are giving them to you for free if you text the word radio. And again, I, we're using this because we were on the radio last weekend and we gave this to those listeners too. Uh, so radio, R-A-D-I-O, to the number 805-874-5215. One more time, 805-874-5215. You'll get all three of those gifts. Um, if you can't make the live event, still opt in because you're going to get the uh, the LinkedIn Mastery Course details and you'll get the symbols guide anyway. So we're giving away a lot of stuff. It's a lot of free yeah. stuff. I would take all, advantage. Yeah, if all that stuff like went over your head, just text to that number. We'll give you stuff. You get stuff. <laughs> if you like stuff, claim your stuff. So every Monday we're going to be doing a different topic uh, here. We're going to be Facebook living. We'll be going to be doing uh, more webinars. And uh, if there's anything you want to know, feel free to contact us. We'll be, you know, we just want to give away this information to make you successful. You can find us on Facebook, find us on LinkedIn. Um, find us in uh, the adult bookstores in yeah, the back, browsing every, for every Monday night. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, everyone who asked questions and uh, was there, but uh, connect with us and we want to help you out with your business. And we want everyone to be successful. We'll see you very soon. See you next Monday. Next Monday.